Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus 18 today, verses 17 to 20. Let's see what it says. Moses' father-in-law said to him, The thing that you are doing is not good. You will surely wear out both yourself and these people who are with you, for the task is too heavy for you. You cannot do it alone. Now listen to me. I will give you counsel, and God be with you. You be the people's representative before God, and you bring the disputes to God. Then teach them the statutes and the laws and make known to them the way in which they are to walk and the work they are to do. So Jethro sees Moses. The people are standing. This was yesterday morning. The people are standing before him all day long. He's making judgments on big matters, medium matters, small matters. Moses is the judge. And so the people are standing around. There's a big bunch of people and it's going on all day long. Uh, Jethro sees this and he says, oh, this, this can't go on. I mean, you've got lots of people, maybe over, maybe around 2 million people, and some of them are having disputes. And so, yeah, there's, this cannot continue. And Jethro tells Moses the obvious. If you keep doing this, you're going to wear yourself out. The people will be worn out. They, they standing around, that's kind of a big, every, everybody, it's not good for anybody. And so you've got to make an adjustment on this. This can't continue this way. I've got some suggestions for you. Now, when he says, listen to me, I'll give you counsel and God be with you. I think Jethro is saying, you know, this is advice. This isn't necessarily inspired advice, but I'm going to give you some suggestions. You think about it. You weigh it. You see if you think it's from God or not. And, and then he basically tells him, uh, you know, you be the teacher. You be the people's representative. And so you address it. But he's going to tell them here today and tomorrow morning, we're going to look at this, that you need to be more organized. You need to send and let some of the other people do some of this work. It can't just be all you. And so that makes a lot of sense. And a lot of times, you know how we are. We, we are uh, slow to delegate. We just think, well, I, I want to get it done. I want it done a certain way. And so we're going to do it ourselves. And a lot of times that's really not good for the broader group. We're part of a, always part of a group. And uh, if you're in a family and one person does everything and the other people don't ever learn to take responsibilities, that's not good. So we've got to learn to kind of pull our own weight, each one of us. And Jethro is going to see, he's going to make a suggestions here to Moses about being more organized on this. And it's a good plan for all of us. Uh, you know, if, if we don't help each other develop uh, self-control, self-discipline, organization, a little bit of it anyways, uh, it's not going to be good for us because along the way in your life, you need to be more organized at different times. And today we just have people who are up all night long. They're on their phone all night long. They're, they get up in the middle of the night and go scrolling, doom scrolling on their phone or they're watching some nonsense television, uh, something on the screen all night long. And so uh, this uh, let's get some self-control here. And it, it's important. Uh, for the group, for the health of the group. And so Jethro's going to give this very kind of advice. But it starts from uh, him observing that Moses in this, this isn't working out too well. This is not going well. So we'll see what happens here. By the way, not every piece of, of thing that God has for us to do, it's not all written out in absolutes. A lot of times he gives us what? Common sense. The trouble is we're not employing common sense anymore. And as they say, common sense is very much less common than it used to be. But God expects us to, uh, to employ that common sense he's given us. Use the brain that God has given you and be intelligent about how you do things. So let's see tomorrow morning how that goes.